Greetings everyone and welcome to number 21, which is Gilles de Rey. Yeah, the weird guy <laughs> in the roster. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's look at this guy. Uh, he is basically your mage of the story. Uh, most of his attacks are done by something else than him directly. It's either spell or he summons his uh, tentacle monsters, so... Yeah, which is cool, but you will very soon see why Gilles de Rey is not high on my list. So, let's look at his skills. Oh, it's all purple basically, <laughs> yeah. Gilles de Rey is like the king of, you know, these uh, purple skills. He, for some reason, just really loves to restrain movement of people. So let's look at those skills. Uh, number 8 is Deep Miasma. And as you can see, it's basically an explosion of this Miasma or whatever that is. It looks cool, but it does no damage. So. Uh, number seven is Festival of the Foul God. Oh, I love this. I love this name so much. Really cool. So it does this. It creates this field which is awesome. Oh man, it looks so poisonous. Oh, I love it. I love it. And yeah, everyone who's got in it uh, gets stopped, which is cool. And now uh, his number six ability for me is called the Great Call. And while it is mainly, uh, you know, ability that stops everyone, it also has some damage, although it's quite low. So that's the reason why it's uh, a winner for me. But yeah, visually speaking, it's definitely the weakest. It's just a bunch of tentacles in the ground. Meh. If we compare it to Festival of the Foul God or Deep Miasma, they are both stylish-wise definitely better for me than the Great Call. Alright, so now, finally, his first uh, actually damaging skill, Oceanic Monsters Run Wild. So, yeah, it's a decent attack, uh, nothing to write home about, but yeah, hey, it's it's send damage skill, so it's better for me than the previous three. Now, let's move on. Alright, so number 4 is Mark of the Malevolent God and it's uh, Gilles combo attack with tentacles. So yeah, not bad at all, not bad. Now bronze position! Bronze position is Oceanic Monsters Rumble. So, while the previous attack was uh, when the monsters go around you, this time you send them flying at your opponent. I, liked a, I like a direct attack like that, it's, it's useful. You never go wrong with something like that. So, number two is his uh, drive skill. It is powerful, but... In the end, it's kind of chaotic and not that visually pleasing, so that's why it's only number two. Yeah, you summon big tentacles and they kind of wreck everything. But my favorite skill of this guy is definitely Great Tentacle Mullet. It's fast, it's very damaging and it covers large area. So yeah, this is definitely the winner for me. So let me know what do you think about <laughs> the weirdest guy from this roster. I think that uh, he delivers. Yeah, you, you see him and you're like, oh man, this guy is such a weirdo. And yeah, he kind of plays weirdly. <laughs> but it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, although we are still kind of in just an okay characters right now. We are not in the, you know, awesome characters. We will get there very soon. But yeah, uh, these characters that I'm talking right now about, you know, 
uh, they basically start from Cuckoo Lane and they end with number 17 I guess yeah number 17 is the last guy that is just okay but not super awesome but the rest the 16 uh, characters that are uh, on the top they are all just brilliant so yeah see you next time guys farewell